The Magic Treehouse, Merlin Missions, number six, Season of the Sandstorms. Skipping ahead. Chapter one, The Golden Age. Jack put his math homework aside. He opened the drawer beside his bed and pulled out a small handmade book. For the hundredth time, he stared at the title on the cover. Ten Magic Rhymes from Annie and Jack from Teddy and Kathleen. For weeks, Jack had kept the book hidden in his drawer, wondering when he and Annie would be able to use its magic again. The book's ten rhymes were to be used on four missions, and each rhyme could be used I only once. Nine, eight rhymes. I guess it was ten. Jack and Annie had already used two rhymes. Oh, so they have eight rhymes left, is what you mean. 10 minus 2. No, no, no. They had 10 rhymes and they took two away and I just said that. Okay. They'd already used two rhymes on a mission in Venice, Italy. Jack! Annie rushed into Jack's room. Venice! Her eyes were shining. Venice! It just read about that one. Bring the book. Let's go. Where? said Jack. You know where. Come on. Annie called as she ran back downstairs. Jack quickly put Teddy and Kathleen's book into his backpack. He pulled on his jacket and took off down the stairs. Annie was waiting on the front porch. Hurry, she cried. Wait, how do you know it's there? Jack said. Because I just saw it. Annie shouted. She hurried down the porch steps and crossed the yard. You saw it? Actually saw it? yelled Jack as he followed Annie through the chilly afternoon. Yes, yes, Annie yelled. When? shouted Jack. Just now, said Annie. I was walking home from the library and I had this feeling. So I went and looked. It's waiting for us. Jack and Annie raced into the Frog Creek woods. They ran between the buildings over the fresh green moss of early spring until they came to the tallest oak. See, said Annie. Yes, breathed Jack. He stared up at the magic tree house. Its rope ladder dangled above the mossy ground. Annie started climbing up. Jack followed. When they got inside, Jack pulled off his backpack. Look, a book and a letter, Annie said. She picked up a folded letter from the floor, and Jack picked up a book with a gold cover. Baghdad, Jack said. He showed the book to Annie. Its title was The Golden Age of Baghdad. A golden age, said Annie. That sounds cool. Let's go. Wait, we should we should read our letter first, said Jack. Right, said Annie. She unfolded the paper. Merlin's handwriting, she said. She read aloud. Dear Jack and Annie of Frog Creek, your mission is to journey to Baghdad of long ago and help the, the Caliph spread wisdom to the world. To succeed, you must be humble and use your magic wisely. Follow these. Wait, a, a caliph, said Annie. Said Jack, and what's Merlin mean when spread the wisdom of the world? That's a big responsibility. I don't know, said Annie. Let me finish. She kept reading. Follow these instructions. Ride a ship of the desert on a cold, starry night. Ride through the dust in a hot morning light. Find a horse on a dome. There's one who sees all in the heart of the city behind the third wall. Beneath birds who sing in the room of the tree. Great, greet a friend you once knew and a new friend to be. Remember that life is full of surprises. Return to the treehouse before the moon rises. M. That sounds pretty easy, said Annie. Eh, no it doesn't, said Jack. All these instructions are so mysterious, we don't know what any of them mean. We'll find out when we get there, said Annie. But first, we have to get there. Make the wish. Okay, said Jack. He pulled.